I watch the 60 Frames No Like podcast because I like myself. Uh, you sound good? Yeah. The chat says you good. I uh, want to say what's going on. Uh, I'll lower my thing, maybe. Okay. Uh, first off, thank you for having me. Second off, uh, you know, you've always told me uh, that they were going to go third party. And I remember- Tim Dog is one of the biggest frauds in the gaming community, man. That's why Phil Spencer ran you off the platform because you was too busy being a fanboy and not actually out here playing games, man. Look at you spending three hours of your life talking to a bunch of random men in the internet, giving Porter Rock credit for something that he didn't even accomplish. Man, what's even more laughable about this, man, that Sony's doing the same thing. You guys want to sit there and talk about console exclusivity, but yet Sony is putting their games on PC no different than how Xbox One did during that generation, Tim. Remember that? When you was all here saying, Microsoft, you should be putting these games on PC. <laughs> and now you're out here on the same platform, well, should I say a different one, doing the same exact thing, coping. This is why it doesn't pay to be a fanboy, and that's why I try to tell you 40, 50-year-old men to go out there and single-handedly enjoy video games. But instead, you guys want to come up with these fanboy debates, these fanboy podcasts, but I ain't never got invited to this. I'm telling y'all going to have to have six or seven of you guys try to jump me to try to overtalk my points because we know you cannot win this argument because you cannot win against a neutral gamer. What are you going to do, talk poorly about Xbox? And I'm going to sit there and tell you, well, I play on PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. Matter of fact, let me show you my game collection real quick. Pull out thousands of PlayStation 1 games. What are you going to do then? Exactly. You guys know better not to address me. You guys know this, man. And on top of that, Tim Dog, man, Phil Spencer was absolutely right about you. You ain't nothing but a fake gamer. And like I said, you need to stay away from all platforms, PC included. Ain't nobody wants you, bro. Nobody wants you a part of their community because people like you is what's hurting the gaming industry. These four or five individuals in this 60 frames, no pod, no lag podcast are the ones hurting the industry because you're not trying to accept things for the what they are, right? It's so funny that you was out here talking about how Xbox One had exclusivity, even though their games was on PC, to now doing it again for Sony. You see how history repeats itself, Tim Dog? Remember, um... You kind of like did put that seed of doubt in my head. I'm going to be honest. You were one, you were the first one to really hit that that uh, you know you were you were hitting that drum. Well, and- apparently Tim Dog ain't hitting the drum on top of his head, man, which happens to be his brain, and none of his brain cells is operating because you're coming into a, a podcast with a group of people giving Porter Rock credit for nothing. Now the real question is, did you see that Sony would be trying to push? You know what? Hold on, Tim Dog. Hopefully you watch this video. Do you know that Sony's also pushing for subscription services no different than Microsoft? Because I want to make sure that I'm the first person that you heard say that. Do you think Porter Rock thought that Sony would ever put their exclusives on a PC device? He has videos from six to seven years ago arguing, calling PC gamers port beggars, and now they're out here playing all his games. That's why this man don't dare address PC gamers anymore because he looks stupid in comparison. Hey, much respect for JTEC TV. That dude, he don't seem to care regardless. But Porter Rock ain't nothing but a coward. You out here giving this man credit. Oh, you know, Xbox is going third party, not considering that Sony's putting all their major top of the line games on PC. Silent Hill 2 Remake, Concord, you guys can keep damage controlling this all you want. God of Ragnarok, I'm hearing, is going to PC. So where is this whole console exclusivity that you people keep talking about? And at, at that time, I was a Which is essentially third party. But I remember you telling me that stuff, and um, it was it was crazy because you kind of got me, you know, questioning them. And, uh, and now you are not questioning Sony. You are literally in the same exact situation that you was with the Xbox One during that generation, Tim Dog. You're a complete fool, bro. How do you not see that Sony is also putting a lot of their same games on PC, which Porter Rock was alluding to, that happened to be third party? I'm telling you. Every time Microsoft does something, Sony follows suit. They did the same thing when Microsoft introduced paid online gaming. What did Sony do during that generation? PS4 paid subscription service. There you go. That's all Sony ever does is copy the competition. Matter of fact, even the PlayStation controller ain't nothing but a Super Nintendo controller with analog sticks on it. Like, what is wrong with you people, man? All That's all Sony has done. 
How do you people not see that, man? You guys claim to be 40, 50 year old men, but you can't even see that every time the competition is going in a certain direction, Sony follows suit. No, listen, I knew E3 was going to be great and I could have been a shill, but the stuff that I was hearing on the inside was not good. And I even hit up Phil, you know, and, I, and well, his He's answer, still salty about that. I told you this. To me, the kind of like really showed me where it was going or I knew, you know. Well, this man was calling Phil on the phone crying, man. That's why Phil Spencer said, you know what, man, we're going to put all these games on, on, on PC because we're sick and tired of you console fanboys, man. Like, you guys are really harming the gaming industry, man. I mean, he did the same thing, crap, gaming reviews, man. These people had mental breakdowns. Because of their games going to PC. Now that they're on Sony, now they got to see Sony doing the same exact thing to them. And they're like, oh, my poor little heart. But Sony, for some reason, gets a pass for this. Why does Sony get a pass for putting their so-called, quote-unquote, exclusives on PC, but Xbox didn't during, didn't during the 2013-14 or the Xbox One generation? There you go. Xbox tax. This is what people are talking about. You people don't keep things consistent. All you guys keep doing is moving the flagpole and changing the narrative. You don't think people are noticing this? Like, come on, bro. Y'all 40, 50 year, 50 year old grown man talking about how you like yourself when you're balding hair, bro. Look at this, man. Like, where is Porter Rock's hairline? Like, that's crazy, man. That that's like pushed so far back up. It's like starting to look like LeBron James with a headband. Thank God. But I just came out with it because I I, I figure, you know, uh, I'd rather be that way and be honest with the community than not. You know what I mean? I'd rather not just be a shill. Yeah, this man's turning your volume down, bro, because you're speaking too loud, Tip Dog. He's like, man, calm down, man. This man sounds like he's drooling all over his words, man. Somebody give this man some mashed potatoes or some green peas. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, the things that you were saying were actually spot on. Uh, they are looking to go third party. Uh, they are looking to put their games on PlayStation. They haven't been at all, uh, at all uh, straightforward with the fans. They've been all over the place. What are you talking uh, about? Where has Sony? Even Porter Rock is listening to this dude. Like this guy don't make no sense, bro. Um, but as far as this thing, like you can see his eyes, bro. Go watch this video for yourself. You can see his eyes like just turning to the side. Like when is this dude gonna be quiet, bro? Oh, yeah. Well, here gave credit to a man that don't even care for your for your for your credit. Yeah, you know if they would have done the right thing. Yo, I swear, bro. Thing. Like if I had the camera on in this podcast, you would see exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Just go watch it for yourself, and you'll see. Before the show, because they knew that this would piss me off. And this off, black dude but... just keeps coming in and out of the background, like, yo, what is this dude gonna be quiet? Tim, dog, when you gonna shut up? This was the plan all along. Um, they were talking about... Game you don't know Pass what he's talking about, about, because Porter Rock, as much as he's a fan, but well, he knows that Sony's putting their games on PC. He even seen it in, I even seen it in the comment section. Oh, it's for, for market shareholders. Yeah, right, bro. You already know what it is, bro. Cut it out, man. You know, he does his own little damage controlling, but he don't cope that much. Uh, Cod not going to Game Pass. That was definitely in discussion. I know that for a They're fact. like, yo, why we invite this dude, Tip Dog? <laughs> it is. They all contemplated, man. This guy's like... I don't know what this dude is saying, but um, all I know is I like myself. Um, even though that they were laughing on stage and making jokes about it. Bro, this uh, man, just this, was... this black dude, I should have put the camera on this one. This would have been funny, bro. This black man just entered the abyss. Now he's just the background. What, what's going on here, man? And the Mr. This dude got a commie statue or some two little goat statues down there. He ain't even saying nothing. Part of the Call oh, of Duty uh, Fallout also... What's really oh, that's Tim is, Dog. My bad. You explained it very well about how they're yeah, doing. Yeah, this man's typing on his keyboard. I gotta show y'all, man. I got, dude. It's just getting too funny with it, man. Yo, this is crazy. I'll probably, I'll, I'll mention it at the end of this video and stuff like that. Wow. Um, uh, you know, um, bro, they, get to the they, point. They bro. basically have made it very confusing that stand standard tier, but they also took right, it watch, away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. guys, And they they are be a shill. Just look at this. Um, Look at Porter Rock. You were saying were actually spot on. Uh, They are looking to go third party. Uh, They are looking to. This black man is like, can I come out yet? Is this man still talking? At all. uh, (laughs) At all. Straightforward with the fans. They've been all over the place. (laughs) Look, Um, just look. This is so funny, bro. As far as this thing goes, yeah. You know, if they would have done the right thing, he said, I think I'm just going to enter the abyss. Let me know when this man's gone. But this was the plan all along. 
Um, they were talking about Game Pass. He is not coming out. Not going Look at that. Game Pass. That was definitely a discussion. I know that. <laughs> He's like, yo, put on. You hear um, this, man? Even though that they were like, bite this. Look at he gone. <laughs> Uh, this was that man hit instant transmission. Look, look at his face. Uh, for, uh, also, what's really telling is that you explained it very well about He's, how they're grandfathered in and stuff like that. This man uh, said, Port Rock, you was a good father figure to him. Um, uh, you know, um, this is embarrassing. They, they, they basically have made it very confusing that stand standards here, but they also took it away. <laughs> And what that screams to me, guys, and they they are not serious about the console. The last couple of days they've been screaming about Yo, the console. Dude. Yeah, that dude came out, came out in the background and left. Indication. Uh, I really He's don't probably laughing. I don't think, I think it's going to be if they have a next generation He's like, Yo, console, what you talking about? It's going to be like a very niche item, maybe very expensive. They'll maybe have that handheld. Bruh. But, um, it's going to be the last time they invite Tim like, Dog, bro. You know, uh, you know. Like, I understand that you're inviting a guest, man, but I would have told Tim Dog, I would have been like, yo, shut up, bro. Like, yo, yo, go eat some mashed potatoes with some green peas in it, bro. Like, for real. Like, go back to attending your dog, man. Like, for real. Pick up after your dog. Because, like, this man is born, bro. You see this black man coming in and out of the city. He's like, yo, he, he's still there? All right, let me get out of here, man. This man probably muted his mic laughing, bro. Like, that's insane, man. Porter Rock's face says it all, G. This man puts all his facial expressions on. I'm telling you, this is boring. I'm just going to just keep He's still talking. Hold on. He's still talking. This is the late 70s. Not now, now, now the black man show up. So. Can I ask you something? Go ahead, Craig. Tim, a shout out to you for being here, Tim. Well, we and your family are. are... Yeah, look at this. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you this part. This part's even worse. So, yeah, you know. Can I ask you go ahead, Craig. Yo, Craig, go ahead. Stop this man from talking. Well, we and your family are, are doing well. And, uh, as a Bengals fan, but, but you're gonna have to get out out of here, man, because you out here embarrassing the 60 frames no lag podcast, man. I understand you're 50 years old, but you out here still talking like you got mashed potatoes in your mouth, man. Uh, yeah, you might want to get up out of here. You feel me? I understand what you Knicks fans are going through. That's <laughs> you know, yeah. now, now, now he want to show himself to stop. The, now he want to, man, look at this, man. There's no equality going on here, man. I told you, man, this is what happens when you got a podcast with a bunch of minorities, man. Let the white man speak, man. <laughs> Let the white man speak, man. For real. Now you see this type of stuff they doing over here, Mr. African brother. He ain't saying nothing, man. He just like, I like my, he's combing his hair. I like myself. I like myself. I like myself so much, I don't even listen to this garbage, but I like myself. This is ridiculous, man. They had to get old man Craig from freaking Friday from the movie with Smokey to come out and be like, yo, Craig, man, stop this monotony. Stop it. This man's boring. For real. The history of Microsoft and what they've been doing since the late 70s, get early Get this 80s. man to stop talking. Was- Fact, they will turn on a dime to make a dime. I mean, that's just their history. That's the way they were built. And you think that was it? Yeah, y'all don't know nothing about gaming, man. But ho- like I said, hopefully you enjoy this video, man. Tim Dog, man, please stay away from the people on my channel, man, because to me it seems like you need some help, man. But hopefully you guys take care. Peace out.